The city of Nijmegen embraces the Rhine. But soon one arm of the river will flow through an entire section of the city. According to the plan, about half of these houses will give way to water. Levees will be moved to create an island. Most residents have left. Frank and Monique Ploim know their days here are also numbered. We're alone here. We're the last to leave. There's nothing we can do about it. In five years, there'll be water here. The water will come from the other side of the levee, flow underneath the levee, and back into the main part of the river. Their family business with nine employees has been here for 20 years. When public authorities first unveiled the plan, the Ploims fought against it. What you have, you have. It's never certain that something new will come, and so you hold on to what you have. Nijmegen didn't want to do things the old way anymore. The city had been battling rising water levels for years before coming up with what in the Netherlands is a pretty revolutionary idea, to give the land back to the water. The programme Room for the River doesn't just solve the problem of rising water levels. It's fantastic. We're getting our own island, just like in Paris. And we're doing it ourselves. People can imagine the island and the things they'd like to have there. Of course, apartments will be built. That's already been agreed upon. But lots of other great things can be developed here as well. A yacht harbour, a concert stage, hotels and restaurants. Nijmegen's local politicians see unlimited possibilities for the island project. But for those who stand to lose their homes, it's hard to share those visions. Hans Evers and his wife also have to move. The greenhouses where they've been growing flowers until recently were flattened. And soon bulldozers will tear down their house. Both of them say they've come to terms with it. But what's next? They've always been a little vague about what's exactly going to be built there. That goes for the whole project, really. The residents weren't told exactly what was happening until the last minute. If, as a politician, you lay all your plans open on the table, you'll have to deal with much more resistance than if you make your intentions known bit by bit. Back at the Ploim's house, it's growing more and more cramped by the day. Boxes are piling up in the living room. What to take and what to leave. The family is building a new house further west from here. They don't see a future for themselves on the island. We were compensated and we'll live somewhere else. The island won't be finished for another four or five years. If we wanted to stay, we would have to buy the land back, but it would probably be too expensive. Many people share those feelings. Once the island is finished, few of the people who lived here before will be around. But Frank Ploim is looking ahead. With the compensation, he can not only build a new house, but a new workshop as well, bigger and nicer than before. I'm not angry anymore. There are new opportunities now. And the building measures will make things safer too. Monique Ploim's young neighbours weren't around for the high water, but she can still remember it vividly. All the autos. See that? And here stonden the houses now. When you went out to the levee, you could see that the water level was with it, a flat surface. It was scary. It was a close call back then. Not a bit eng. The neighbours are moving to Italy in a few weeks to open a bed and breakfast. The planned flooding was the final impetus for their decision. But they aren't angry about having to make room for the river. Maybe it also fits well with the 
Maybe that's a better way to interact with water. Of beter omgaan met het water. Dus niet meer Not to fight against it, but to live with it. The Evers agree. They plan to take up residence on the island. They'll be able to move into their new house at the end of the year. Directly on the shore, a dream location, and they won't have to fear the river anymore. We assume that with the bypass, flooding won't be an issue anymore. That's the goal. I don't think I need to be afraid. And we know how to swim. <laughs> Nijmegen is responding to climate change. More room for the river and an island for the city.